Local homebuyers are being lured in with the great offer of a tax break, but then all of a sudden it's taken away, and that tax break turns into a tax bill. But how is that possible, and is it even legal? Here's KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan. I love how vibrant this neighborhood has been. I think there's been a real renaissance. All of a sudden, Lawrenceville is the place to be, with its hipster bars and shops and its cutting-edge restaurants. And as an enticement to buy this townhouse in Doughboy Square, the city offered pediatrician Sandra Kim an abatement to significantly lower her property taxes. They made it very clear that one of the beauties of buying in this neighborhood with this property in particular was the tax abatement. But one hand giveth and the other taketh away. No sooner did she move in than Kim got hit with what some call the newcomer's tax. The school district appealed the assessment on her home, petitioning to nearly double her home's value for tax purposes. I was completely flabbergasted. Consider the tax impact on the newcomer. Kim's townhouse is identical to the two on her right and the two on her left. But while each of those is assessed at $325,000, the school district is seeking to raise her assessment to $560,000. As a result, her tax bill will be more than twice the size of her neighbors, and she'll be paying more in taxes than if she never had a tax abatement in the first place. It doesn't sound very hospitable for somebody to come in and buy a new house and have to pay a higher assessment than everybody around them. The law isn't about being hospitable. School District Attorney Janet Burkhart says because real estate values are rising in Lawrenceville, Kim paid more than her neighbors who bought earlier. And the school district has a right to capture that increase in its tax levies. It's been proven through the courts that these assessment appeals filed by school districts when they're done without discrimination are totally valid. She's right. A county judge just tossed a case by other newcomer property buyers who complained of unequal taxation. It's legal, but it's not fair. Kim's only recourse is to hire consultants like Mike Suley to fight the new value at the Assessment Appeals Board, where he will argue for basic fairness and against a surprise reassessment on top of a tax abatement. It's like buying a car. You get a $5,000 rebate. And then you buy the car and they take the rebate back. <laughs> okay, it's that simple. Is that fair? No. It's not very neighborly, but barring a change of heart by school districts and other taxing bodies, the newcomer's tax appears to be here to stay. If you buy a new house, you'll probably pay more than the person next door. In Lawrenceville, Andy Sheehan, KDKA TV News.